everyone says my name is Luke Kang from LSK121. Uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulty trying to make the live video. Korean and I is really working hard. Anyway, good to see you Monday mornings, 11 o'clock. Um, I brought all cases here, which is 17 unit, which is very complicated cases. How I approach this cases from the beginning. I would like to share with you this morning. So any questions, so you can let me know the how am I start with these cases. This is impressions. So this is my uh, initial diagnosis, which is the the first after receive it. Of course, we have to capsize it, and um, we have to see the implant side, which is. A, Strawman, RN, RC kind of types. The doctor did uh, this really nice impressions. By the way, this doctor's name is Gerald Boyer in Washington State. And he gave me a lot of um, um, impression copings with the lab analog. So we carefully put into the implant perfectly fitting. That's a number one. And number two, he gave me this, the, which is baseball, and um, this is the horizontally, so they can patient can take the bite. So this is very important horizontal lines we have to see, and then mount it with the SAMS articulator just like that, which is this is SAMS articulator. By the way, I don't get any commission from Sam's articulator, but whenever doctors use, I have to use. Okay, anyway, we mount this. And um, as you can see the picture, and um, that one is, is other pictures, and um, doctor gave me this study model, of course. He sent me the um, study model, which is horizontally, we have to mount it. And then um, sometimes doctor did it with a study model. And then sometimes doctor did it prep model, which is I prefer prep model. Otherwise, study model, it won't fit my, my model. So I cannot see much horizontally. There's another one tips. And um, after I diagnosis, and then carefully articulate it correctly. And then we can see the custom angle abutment, whatever we have to decide. So the custom abutment is very important compared to tie base. So what I'm talking about screw or cement retain, or when I have the cases, which is angulate channel sticking out the facially let me show it more and this is tie base this is custom abutment which is, will be cement together which is one screw retained this is the best way and a little reflection okay so whenever i diagnosis how much implant sticking out facially or how many millimeter out or right, right? So this is guideline with high base. And then we scan and design for uh, the computer, which is I've been using ExoCAD. And then I see the better um, implant side, which is too much out, too much in. That's the indicated screw retain or cement retain. If I have a proper implant site, and we all the time screw retain, which is I prefer all the time. If I have see implants a little bit facially out, then we can correct it 20 degree, probably maximum 30 degree, trying to bring it in the lingually. So we're trying to make another screw retain. However, when I have the, this much, 65, 70 degree implant, you cannot fix it. So we have to go to cement retain, which means bring it in and then there's no hole. So we can make those kinds of things. 
Let me show you the byte record. This is extremely important things. Like I said, this is a rehab. From this, the top, which is completely prepped. Okay, just like this. Completely prepped. So everything is prepped. And then lower, only this. So, whenever we mount it, we had the limitation in between the T's. Okay? Because there's no guide, only I have to dictate with this. But be honest with you, sometimes it's off. Okay? So, what we did, and then we make the putty. And then make sure the upper sturdy model. And then use the prep just like this, trying to get the same oogie. And then get the bite, the top. And then I transfer here. Okay, and then we mounting together with the lower, which is cross mounting from putty technique. This is not easy, so I'm going to go over it in a later about that. Anyway, without diagnosis, without bite mounting correctly, all messed up. So I have to concentrate more bite here. Probably we spend um, to mounting from the This baseball and the mounting probably spend I would say six hours easy six hours eight hours we have to mount it correctly without this I'm not going to move anything okay so after we make the model and then mounting we spend six eight hours to get correct occlusion correctly done compared to his photo compared to his story model. Okay, now let's move on to scan and design. So then we decided screw retain and cement retain in a properly position, implant position, so we can make the hole. Okay, this is to make the hole, but this is we cannot make it. So too much is sticking out the facially, so we make this cement retain. So whenever you see the photo, so kind of the other illustrations, to with the sticking out the facially, which is numbers between six and seven, like that. So we correct it. This is in the beginning, and then we correct it with the other side to the bring it in. Just like that, computer image. So we put the design about the full mouse. Design. So posterior, we're trying to make the mono, but the facial area, we put the subtle porcelain. And um, this lower, a mid medium size prep, and then we check the occlusion contact correctly. So we can see the more and better um, the design as well. Lower CAD is the same as, same as I show you. Okay, this is the final we designed it with the full mouse, the combo cases. And then we just put into the, the top. And then turn the both side, occlusion view, occlusion. All right. Completely occlusion, three finger, and drag down. Yep, cool. All right. Now, as I can show you the lower design after I put it into the Axel CAD. Okay, so two singles, and then the other three unit cases, which is all singles. Yes. And um, this one, can you bring it back? 
All right, move it. Collision view. Screw retain. All right, that's all. Screw retain. It's good. Great. Okay. All right. So now then, we compare to before and after, which is very important things. As you can see, the top and then there's an R and rest position kind of and then middle picture in the before and after so we extend it the last picture is finalize it so we make the horizontal plane from the K9 to K9 okay and um, so this is the um, other lower design you can see Natural teeth has the premolar to premolar, and the final my restorations which is screw retain and um, cement together and check the, the occlusion before I finalize it. That was a diagnosis. Okay, this is the final view. One single screw retain for front, then posterior has a screw and cement retain. Just manipulate the cornea. We put the really good occlusion contact, as well as this great coloring from the inside outside. So but this is screwing. The finally we finish the seventeen unit. The combo cases from the diagnosis and the impression and the bite mounted together so we spend time using the putty technique and also uh, we using the uh, CAD and the, with the microsurface design and correctly designed um, looks like architecture just like make the building the only thing is the upper doctor prep everything and the lower only eight pieces left over okay so they they put together, okay, they put together, and then here's my horizontal line, which is we did it, this, finally, doctor prep it, great. So we horizontally, we're just matching it. So our side, even though we try best we can, but dentists have to see to make sure the bite. So my recommendation to the dentist, the dentist have to using the lower, <laughs> This one is lower. So cement first in the patient's mouth. Just make sure contact. We don't have checked occlusion because I already did it with the uh, occlusion plane. Okay, so horizontally is good. Curve of speed is good. So they cement it together. Now they can use after that, they try one more central, lateral, K9, they try, and then take the occlusion contact too. Maybe he need to, he's just a little bit grind up, upper. Then easily polish here, and then did not see much, okay? Now, when he think his bite is off, which is possible, then after he cement everything done, I need another lower model. So technically he finished this, and then now another model from that cementations and then we check the bite again too if horizontally miss again he can check the line and then take the picture and then we can correct it so usually i recommend this kind of things biscuit bake is better but this is the final with one shot Okay, so one shot sometimes has a problem with lines off whatever inside of the length, but they took the another bite with another baseball with this, then we can correct it. But we usually good because we really careful if dentist gave, gave me the right old stuff, then we don't have any problems. But that's my recommendations. Okay. Otherwise, let me show the the final. So that's the final. Um, restorations, the view, frontal view, and uh, all the way bottom 
which is patient, you know, is, um, say, ah, this occlusion view. So we make this facially contours about the number seven, which is facially out the number eight and nine. So we build again two. Okay. So all about the 17 unit cases, um, like I said, diagnosis, mounting, the check the implant is correctly fitting, and then we can make these better, better uh, information, and um, meaning whenever we place the implant side, and then make sure good, put it in the CAD system, design it, and then the most likely, we have to check the artist skill, which is as you can see, we put the multi-layering facially, even though we put all protected zir zirconia lingual, so no, you know, no posterior fracture. But the eye outside is this more artist skill, which is we put really into it, which is not many people can do. Anyway, so I can make another good video. So appreciate it. See you later. Thank you.